everyone. Um, I've woken up bright and early again today. Just had breakfast. Um, and we're going to head down to the shopping centre today and do some shopping. Okay, so back in the hotel room, just went uh, to the shopping centre, bought uh, a few clothes, nothing too spectacular. There was only really one shop that was half decent, a shop called Springfield. Um, they actually had some all right clothes. So I've got a kind of really light, thin jumper type thing, as you can see. don't know if you can see that, I'll probably lay it down on the bed. So got that, not bad, and then got like this thin sort of jacket, sleeveless jacket type thing. So, because it gets quite chilly, it gets quite chilly in the evenings here. Um, so I thought I'll get that, and it's not too thick, so you're not too hot, but at the same time you're not too cold. Anyway, gonna get some lunch now at the hotel, and are we doing that camel thing later? Yeah, so we should be. Um, riding camels later so I've got something to log, log about um, but yeah right now it's lunch probably pop back to the hotel room and then uh, leave to the camels see you in a second okay so we're on the way to this camel place uh, basically we'll just be riding camels um, is there anything else on that area yeah from what we can see it's basically just a camel ride um, but uh, I don't know what the scenery's like, I don't know anything like that, so, but, you know, I'm gonna go there, ride a few camels, just in the car right now, still got another 20 minute drive or so. Um, I'm wearing what I've purchased today, or the jacket. I changed t-shirts as well. The other one was, sorry, the other one was just, I don't know, it was too, like, tight on your body and it, in the, in the warmth, it was kind of like a humid warmth, it was, I don't know, it didn't really work. Um, so yeah, change t-shirts, change my clothes, um, and now just traveling and using the sat nav. What's cool is we can actually use the internet, but very basic internet anywhere where we are, because the network I'm on back in the UK, um, they allow Spain as part of uh, this kind of feel at home type thing. So I actually got Wi-Fi wherever I am, not Wi-Fi, but I got like mobile internet wherever I am but it's really really slow I mean it takes ages just to like load up a simple website so it's kind of useless but it's great for maps so we've always got the GPS on our phone but anyway probably rambling again uh, we're gonna go to the camel place and I'll pick up the vlog and the main camera there uh, hopefully get some excellent footage of some kind if not then some decent footage of camels don't see camels every day so all good. All right, see you guys in a second. Cup of coffee while we wait. Definitely need a coffee right now. Feeling tired. Oh, lots of walking we've done this holiday. Lots of travelling. Gets to you after a while. I'm starting to feel it today. Uh, today was the, was the first day I woke up. A bit later than usual. Usually I woke up around 8 something. Early 8. Today I woke up around 9 something so definitely feeling it. Uh, and then ride the camels in the evening. I'm not sure yet, but I'm sure we'll find something to do in the evening. Find a camera lens there. I don't know if that picks it up. It's gone now. But yeah. So I think this vlog's going to be quite a slow one today. Nothing too spectacular. 
But this camera thing does look pretty decent. It does look like I'll be able to get some good footage. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be pretty cool. But yeah, and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, vlogging from on top of a camel, as you can see, there he is. I don't know, this is, <laughs> upsets me a little bit. Doesn't seem to happen. <laughs> it kind of goes against what I believe in, you know. But, uh, just enjoy it now, man. I just think all day just carrying people on their back. I mean, I don't know too, too much about camels and what, they're, what they can do and if this is normal for them or not. But I guess I'll do a bit of research when I get back in the hotel. Well, you can do a video about it. Yeah, maybe. But I don't know, they seem quite upset. And I don't blame them. Think about it. Every day you're just carrying people around. You're not going to be happy. But, uh, alright, might as well try and enjoy it while I can. Maybe I could, uh, uh, but yeah, we'll see. Alright, see you in a second. Jesus Christ. It's pissed off. It's actually very high up. You don't notice how high up you are. Yeah. It, well, he seems so much more higher than you really are. The film, the, uh, film the legs, the way it walks, it's pretty awesome. Jesus. Wow. Making yeah, some noise. He's, he's not happy. I don't blame him. He's, he's not happy holiday. at all. He's not happy at all. <laughs> I don't blame him at all. Oh look, there's some donkeys there. They don't seem too happy as well. But I just think it's the strain of you know carrying people. I'm sure like their backs will be sore after a while, and it's not nice, you know. But then again, they're built. These animals are built for this. Sort yeah, of stuff. I mean that's true. They the camels have been the, the car, the vehicle of choice for thousands of years, especially in the Middle East. That is true. So it is in their genes to carry people and things like that. But I don't know. They just seem angry. <laughs> that's, that's the thing, they don't seem happy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was bumpy. That was because we're going down a hill. I'm telling you, cars are the best invention of modern times. Cars, the internet. This is my top five list of best inventions right now. The, the car, the internet, the computer, the camera. And what else? You want to add one into there? The iPhone. Smartphone. <laughs> Smartphone. Let me know in the comments what your five best inventions are of modern time, what you could not live without. Your five top inventions. Well, let me know in the comments below. So just to add insult to injury to the camel, the man who's walking the camel in front is now lit up a cigarette so all the smoke is blowing direct in the camel's face. It's taking the piss, man. And then when you go down the hill, you've got to be careful. Because uh, he has to kind of... He has to be careful. And it's a lot more strain on the camel's legs going down hills. It just feels like it could just break down. I mean, yeah, that's what it feels like. It feels like any second the camel's just going to... It's going to fall off like... It doesn't feel good. Poor this thing, I can really feeling. feel it, isn't it? This is uncomfortable. This is very uncomfortable. <laughs> Everyone is well going, ah! Because it just doesn't feel good. So this is the camel that... That did it for us. Poor little thing. It's a trooper. So, we're gonna go... Well, we were gonna go to, um, I don't know, some sort of mountainous area again. Apparently it's like a viewing attraction, but the road turns into pure like gravel with big rocks. So we just want to find out if that road 
So I'm going to read this sign here, see if I can discover if this road is how it is all the way up. Because we've got a rental car, and obviously if we scratch up or damage or get a, you know, a flat or something on the rental car, um, it can cost us dearly. The trail leads from the plaza, blah, 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 in the centre of the street. A few metres down this road, the trail bends and goes up to the Camio de Lance, maintains its old cobbled road and climbs the sharp slope to reach the El Ring. From this point, the trail continues along the paved road and takes you up about 200 yards back. From... Okay. So it is mostly off-road. I quite like this vlogging, I have to admit, it, it grows on you. At first, <laughs> At first I didn't even want to pull out the camera and record myself because I thought I was so aware of what people were looking, you know, what people were thinking. Now, I, I don't know, I just don't, just don't give a shit really now. It's kind of like, meh, so what, you know, it's a guy holding a camera to his face, who cares? You see stranger stuff every day. It's not that big of a deal. And yeah, now I'm alright with vlogging. I actually quite enjoy it. What do you think we should do? All right, so we're gonna go back to go back to the map, have a look, see if we can find anything a bit more suitable. Uh, in fact, this is a two-way street. So yeah, I mean, two-way street. Look at that, and then you're going up a mountain. You're gonna damage nah. the car. In these kind of road conditions, nah, you're just asking for trouble. I'm sure everything would be fine, but just in that one-off, it's not worth it, you know. All right, see you guys in a second. Okay, so we're on our way to a different mountainous village, road, viewpoint, whatever you want to call it. It's called Masca. Um, the other one, like I said before, the road was just, uh, had no tarmac, it was a bit, wasn't worth it. So this one, we're going up through a very windy tight roads, but at least, you see that, you have to literally go on the other side, Jesus, you have to, <laughs> um, but at least it's tarmac, you see? And then look at that view from out there. We came from all the way down there somewhere. And you can see on the map, let me just flip the screen around so I can actually see what I'm recording. We've got all this, oh, click resume. There we go. So we've got all these uh, windy, sharp turns to go through. If it was a little bit wider, it would be, be much more enjoyable. But we're going quite high up. Oh, there we go. You have to always like pretty much stop when oncoming traffic comes because it's so oh, tight. Uh, you got a good foot actually, to be fair. You can see it in the back there. Yep, keep going. He's letting you through. So yeah, uh, that one viewpoint here. But keep going. Ooh, Jesus Christ! Uh, Am I going straight here still? Yeah, yeah. Keep going. What a view! Look at that. It's pretty cool. Okay, so still up on this viewpoint. So you can see, look at that view. Beautiful. I'm recording the time lapse here, as you can see. That's the camera set up. I've had it rolling for about nine minutes. What I'm hoping is if you see the sun across the mountain here, I'm hoping in the time lapse you can see the sun move across the mountain because obviously a time lapse needs to have movement in it, otherwise, it will just look like a picture. You know. You, you won't notice anything. There are a few cars driving down these bendy roads, so hopefully that will uh, give it a bit more of an effect as well. If not, I'm going to try another time lapse on a different area um, when we go, because we're still going higher up. Um, but you can see the clouds on that part. That's pretty cool right there. Let me zoom into that actually, just spotted that. So you can see the clouds just going over the tip of that, that mountain there. Amazing. So we're here by Masca now. It's actually low down, a village with 19 inhabitants or something around that. You can see it down there. That's the village. And it's a tourist attraction. All right, guys. So just got some excellent shots uh, with the 4K camera. And uh, me and my brother did a little, little joke type thing, which I think you guys will like. He was right down there. I don't know if you can see that. Well, you'll see it on the main shot. But he was right down there. And with the zoom, I was able to zoom right down onto him. Sorry, a car alarm's going off. There we go. Um, I was able to zoom right down to, onto him. I gave him a call. I said, pretend that 
you're going to get sniped because I can do like a sniper rifle scope type thing, uh, digitally edit it afterwards. And uh, he did, <laughs> and then he kind of fell to the floor when I told him that wait 20 seconds and fall to the floor. And he did it, got it perfect and shot, and it just looked like he got sniped from a distance. So this looks like it will be a sniper rifle. Hopefully it will turn out nice when I edit it, and it will look pretty cool. Yep, just stopped on the side of the road because this view is epic. Look at that. You can see the landscape in the distance with the sea in the middle. Absolutely epic. What a view. So we're almost at the hotel, but we just stopped here because look at that view. We've got some excellent shots of uh, the actual city and all the cars driving by. So what a perfect opportunity for a pretty cool time lapse. As you can see, I'm just recording it now. Let me zoom in on that. So I've got the time lapse going right now. Obviously you don't need a microphone for a time lapse so it's all unplugged. But yeah no pretty cool. I let that go for about four minutes. Doesn't need to be a long one. And then I'm going to do one from that angle down there. And then see which one turns out best, really. Might as well, while I'm here, let's do as many time lapses as possible. Check that out. One of you. I think that's going to be the thumbnail, to be honest. That might be a thumbnail shot. On our way to dinner now. Just got back to the hotel. The dinner ends in half an hour. So, so gotta get back, not get back, go down there quickly so we can eat. Uh, I don't think I ever showed you this guy, but in the corridor there's just huge rocks painted white, so it's kind of like built into the landscape of the hotel. It's pretty cool. So just got out of the bar, the hotel bar, had dinner, and uh, it's almost. Well, not almost, it's uh, 11.15 right now. So, I'm gonna go back to the room, edit some vlogs, and call it a night. Mm.